Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about enabling the send number system and send check digit characters in regards to a UPCA barcode. This specific device is going to be a Honeywell CT60 and these settings are going to be pretty similar across all Honeywell devices. So the CT60 should work just fine for this tutorial. So let's dive right in here. Uh, let me first show you what a number system and a check digit is. And I think it'll help explain, you know, what we're setting and what we're trying to accomplish here. So I have a picture of a UPCA barcode. Notice that there are some numbers in the middle, starting with 141, you know, ending all the way at 003. And then there's two characters on each end. In this case, they're both sixes, but they do not have to be. So the first six before the 141 is what they call the number system. And I won't get too far into what a number system is or what a check digit is, but just know that that first number all the way to the left is the number system. System, and then the 6 all the way to the right after the 003 is the check digit. And so without the settings for checking a check digit and checking for a number system character enabled on a gun, it will leave off the 6 on each side. So it'll just start at the 141 end with 003. Where that can become problematic is if the application you're scanning into has a database behind it that's looking for the full SKU number, including the two sixes on each side. You can see where that'd be a problem if you leave those off, you scan in, you make it an invalid item, you know, or a misscan in this case. So let me show you an example here. And let me delete this out of here. This was a test I was doing earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and scan in this barcode, the same exact barcode, but I do not have the number system or check digit enabled. And we should see that it'll leave off the six on each side. And it does. So you can see before we had a six before the one four and then a six at the end after the zero three. So let me show you how to turn these on here. Better yet, we'll go back to the home screen. So what you're gonna do is swipe up from the bottom to open all of your applications or your app gallery. You're gonna scroll down until you see settings. And then keep scrolling down. Notice these sections here where you see personal. And what the one you're looking for is Honeywell settings right here at the top. And then underneath the Honeywell settings, you're going to look for the one that says scanning, which right there at the top now. So click on that. And you want internal scanner, you want default profile. And so you want to go to symbology settings. And again, we're discussing the UPCA number system and check digits. So I'm going to click on UPCA. Better yet if I use my mouse here. So you can see there's a send check digit and send number system, neither of which are enabled. So let's go ahead and turn both of those on. And we're going to go back now to Notepad. Great, it should be right here. So we're going to drop down one row. So now when I scan, now that I turn those on, we should have a six at the far left and a six at the far right. So let's give this a test. And we do. And so that is how you turn on the check digit and the number system characters on a UPCA barcode on a Honeywell device.